Hey, it's James from Feeling Electrical. On today's video, we're installing this 22 kilowatt Zappi. Here we go, let's get into this. Yeah, so we've got a team on it. So we've got Hayden and Ellis is in the bushes, if you know what I mean, at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, we've just wheeled out this cable. So it's a six mil, five core SWA. So we have got to glam this into the fuse board. If you look down end there, there we go. We've got, we've got uh, five cars in there. There we go. So yeah, we should have glam that into the fuse board. Get it run around this warehouse. There's like a trough. It's got to sit all the way around into the fuse board and the little charger. We're going to have to sit here. So it's a bit, a bit tight for space here, but we should just manage to fit it in. There we go, so open it up then. So you've got little, little mounting templates, so you know where to get your little fixings in, your entry holes. And this is what comes in then. So what have we got then? A little product manual on that. Serial number. So, this customer has got the government grant. So basically, he can get up to I think it's 350 quid, including that, off his Zappy charger, because uh, this is his business premises. Um, so, what we have to do is get pictures like before and after. Um, take a picture of, like the car parking space it's going to be and stuff like that. And then we ping that over to like a government portal, and then he can basically claim that 350 pound grant. So, yeah. So it's a uh, nice. So if you've got a business out there, then you can get money off for chargers. There we go, it's been in, been in sticks on it. Oh, I've got me shot. <laughs> <laughs> wet. One of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. There we go, he's playing himself off. Uh, where do you end up, Ellis? Uh, got a basket something. Right, uh, in a field. Fed <laughs> him. Right then, so that's a little cover that clips on after. So down and click in. Let's give that to Aiden. We're going to get that to Oh, CT flying. Alright, so what we have to do then is install this Sappy then. So Sappy's going to sit on there. It's uh, a tethered one. So basically you've got to unravel it, type in your code, unlock it, and plug it in and charge. But essentially we've got to get a cable from that end of the warehouse around. Um, <clears throat> and these CTs basically me measure the load of this site. And if you're pulling more than you've set it to, it'll basically limit the, how much it's pulling. Uh, but looking at this, he's not got much going on as far as usage, so he should be able to use full 22 kilowatts, so that's pretty cool. Let's get this cable running then. So, I've reeled it out. Oh, car coming. <laughs> Cable's gonna get rid of over here. Right then, so we're gonna have to come up here, onto that purling, and then run him around. It should be a fun one. So we can get it around all that, but there's a few cable runs that way anyway. So we'll just tap onto that. It's gonna be a nice quick video of this. So you can see how we install these zappies. But essentially, oh, if we can squeeze past all these, I'll have to come along, around, down into the fuse bar. So it's a bit of a tight squeeze, as you can see, but we should get that in nicely. Um, might not be best to show you this bit. <laughs> see, I've got a little, little system going at the moment there, pulling it. All right, that'll do. There we go, so it's the length. I'm going to try and get it round and clip it on that tray now. Oh, a bit sweaty work, but yeah. We've got it round. So we're just going to tie it back now. So we've got a data cable as well, which will do the CTs. So I'll show you that later. But we're just running that in now. So Ian's going to pass it up round, same length. And then we're just going to tie everything back in uh, into this little trough. So it should be uh, nice, neat and sweet. So yeah, we're getting the data cable in next then. So again, that's from the same route. So that will be measuring the site's load. So oh, if you plug in and the site's using loads, it's not going to blow your main fuse. So it kind of balances your load of your site. So it's a safety feature. Oh, boy, spent then. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a few loopy loos going on back of these back of these rackings. So we're just going to tie wrap it all the way around and back down here. Yeah, because I think that, that cable's quite costly per meter, you see, so we don't want to have loads of off cuts on that. Oh, it'll be wasting money. Right, so we've got the cable run now, so it's running, it's nice and clipped down here. Um, so, what we're going to do is kind of swoop round. So, ideally, this was just a flat wall, like a flat brick wall, we'd kind of come um, 
there's basically certain heights you're supposed to mount these uh, for like regulation and stuff like that um but yeah because it's a private client you can kind of get away with putting it where they want but uh, down there's too low um the, the grant people might not like that the government grants so what we're gonna have to do is get it above this lip then so the charger the bottom of it is gonna sit about here the top of it's gonna have to sit about here and then we'll have to get that entry hole and then drill through the cladding cladding obviously build it all up after and then get the cable through right let's we'll get this unpacked then so we've got a few cts which we'll get onto later you got a little uh a little cable management system there and that over there and the actual zap itself so what we're going to do is just keep it in the box like that what you'll find is if you just kind of let that cable swing around it gets all scratched up so we're going to try and keep it nice and clean all right then so let's uh, undo these screws get access to this and then get him mounted Here's the zappy internals then. So if you look there, we've got L3, L2, L1, neutral and earth. So that's for your five cars. And you can see your CTs there on the orange, so CT1, 2 and 3. So that's what we're going to be putting the data cable into. So what I'll we'll have to do, this is your entry hole. So we'll have to bang a hole in here and get that kind of, uh, get the cable through that. And then what we'll do afterwards is just gun right up just to make sure that this is nice and watertight. So we normally use that with a bit of uh, kind of clear silicon just to stop any, uh, Wanted water ingress. Right, then we'll get this metal then. So we've got this little hole through, so the cable can bob through there. We'll it up later. Make it all nice watertight. So I think, bear in mind, we're going to get some cables wrapped around here. I think the best bet will be something like this. So there's enough room underneath for the cable to go and wrap around. If you go right here, it's just going to it's going to be bending the cable. We don't want that. So I think about here is fine. I'll just mark the um, entry hole for the cables to come out and then what we'll do is uh, get this levelled up later. There we go. Right, then, so what we're going to do is put this little strip in, so I'll just zoom in on that, mate. So it's like a little grommet strip and it's got this metal kind of profile that digs in nicely. So I'm just going to fill us all with this. Yeah, I can get him in, get that chopped and then. As the cable comes in, it's not going to kind of dig into that data cable. That armored cable's obviously got armored braiding, so it's not end up world really if that digs in a bit. But let's try and protect his, uh, what do you call it, his uh, insulation. Here we go, Master Ellis has uh, stripped this nicely. So he's just got that stripped. So this is obviously going to be earth from the building, but we, what we don't want to do is export that earth to the charger. Because it's something called pen fault detection, which we'll go through. So pen fault detection then. So what this device does, it will disconnect, uh, it'll, well, three phase, it'll go L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth. It'll disconnect all five cars if it senses a greater voltage than 70 volts between neutral and earth. So if the neutral get, disappears to the property, the return path is the earth. So anything metal would come live essentially. If you are gonna to be touching a car every day, it's gonna, you're gonna get a shock, aren't you? So that can happen if they do some road, kind of road works and the neutral severs for the building, but the, the line cables are still going there. That's how that can happen. So uh, that's the whole point of that pen fault detection to stop like a big human flies after sat on your drive. Right, we're just fixing it now then. Oh, so, what we're gonna do is just get these fixed in, get it all nice and level, and we'll pull it off, gunge it all up, and then we'll stick it back. So, so I find it a bit easier just to get things spot on. So let's pick us fixing. So I think that'll be fine, that. So it's a nice uh, self-tapping bit. So this is for metal, so it's got like a little drill bit on the end, and then it should self-tap straight through. So let's just go through cladding first. Spot on that. So let's offer him up. There we go. Yeah, like I said, afterwards, what I'll we'll do is pull this off and get it, get it all gunged up. But yeah, what I do is just get like a load of silicon in there just to kind of seal everything up, get level out, check the building's level, and it is. That's good news. So we'll just level this up and get his bottom two fixings in. And then that, but this mounted nice and solid. Okay, right, then that's in then. So. Sure. We've got these, so greys um, L3, blacks L2, browns L1, 
neutral there so that's in now so they'll just tuck in nicely we've got this cable through there it's all fixed up so what we're going to do is just uh, gunge the fronts of these now as well and then gunge that hole and make sure everything's nice and tight in there so what we're going to do now is just use this data cable as to extend the cts so the cts come in this box i'll show you this it's actually cts so you you attach these around l1 l2 l3 and they extend it so that end that end near the fuse board what we'll have to do so we've got heading on that now at the moment so what we'll have to do is get that round l1 l2 l3 for the supply coming in and then we'll have to attach that onto whichever we pick here yeah then so we'll use brown as l1 then so all you do is just uh, strip it like that uh, give it a little bend if you want if you want to double over but the terminals aren't too uh, too deep there so we'll use we'll use brown as the pause and the white or brown white as neg so let's get in there so all you do is get a little little driver ideally a, a little flat and you just bend them two out of the way and then slide it in and then let go and that's it so what i have to do is when we set up the zap we'll have to set them to ct1 being l1 ct2 being l2 and ct3 being l3 but that's how we do it there we go, so we've got that in. So what CT1, CT2, CT3. We've got those cables in. It's all gunged up now. So lift your finger, can neaten that up. But everything's got a nice casing of silicon around it just to stop any water ingress. So that should be it. So we've got three screws gunged up and this, and then we've got to gunge the hole from the other side. And that's this end done. Not terrible, not terrible. Right, that's on now then. So we've got cable in, landed in the top. We've got this breaker powered up. So L1, L2, L3, earth and neutral, and then CT is a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a message job, aren't they? But we've managed to get these on for L1, L2, L3. We extended it using these, so we just chopped it down and extended it. I don't know how neat a way, really, to kind of do this. <laughs> but it looks a right nest, doesn't it? But yeah, we'll get this cover back on now, get it all labelled up, and then we'll go on to the testing. Right then, so what we're doing is connect this to the internet. So as soon as you log it up, it's got like a setup wizard. So what you do is get your phone, you log into that. It'll, it'll pop up with the My Energy. Uh, Wi-Fi name, so you click on that on your phone and then it'll say password, so you type in the password and you're logged in. That'll take you to a screen where you can pick what Wi-Fi you want to connect to. So I connected to this customer's Wi-Fi, typed in the password and now it's just downloading some firmware. So that's as far as we've got it so far, so it's 27%. So once that gets to 100% we can start setting up the setting. Well, hey, we're up and running. So finally it's downloaded. So apparently this unit's using 1.4 kilowatt using the uh, the uh, CTs, it's already working. Alright, let's get them set up then. So, other settings, you just want to set your date and time, so all that should be set if you connect to the internet. So, it's 12 17 currently, and it's 12 17, it's the right date. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've already downloaded the, the firmware, so the lock function, you can change the um, so here we'll change that and we'll ask the customer what he wants. We'll be able to change that lock function and change the password. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so there's some settings we need to set. Let's have a look then. Alright then, so what we're going to do, if we go into advanced settings then. So settings, advanced settings. I'm just going to change the supply grid then. So you go into your your grid settings so this is where you can change your limit so we want this to max out essentially because we've uh, it's fine phase rotation so it's three phase so if this was any or any different order one two three or one three two then we need to look at the phase rotation for the site but there's not much to the setup ct config then all these are set up to grid if we look at the readings we're getting readings coming in off all three phases so that's correct um and that's about it for the event setting well that's all charging away then so you get your blue light on so when it's about to charge, it'll be like a pink light. When it's on like stand, well plugged in and not charging. And as you can see, that's uh, charging away then, this electric car then. So then, you saw we kind of set up the CTs then. So we just went into there, make sure all the CTs were pulling and I'm sensing power running through each uh, L1, L2, L3. And again, we just changed the password so nobody's gonna come up and start charging and nicking his power. So yeah, that's all done. So a nice, nice, sweet, neat job really. But yeah, if you like this kind of content, then hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, I've gone from me and I'll see you on the next one.